And today I'm going to root out the neck pocket. This is really crucial that this is perfect. So uh, to do that, I'm going to make a template. So I've seen it done in different ways on YouTube and thanks to all the people who posted that information. Some people use pieces of wood they put up against uh, the neck and that will be their template. Others have a finished template that they use. I am going to do both. To get it straight I'm going to use a piece of string going from this mark and all the way up to the middle right here of the knot and then if it goes through the middles of all the dots I know it's straight. So that's the plan. I've never done this before so let's see how it works. So I guess I am in the middle right now and the neck is straight with the line right here. So this is how I set it up so I'm able to clamp down these parts just because I'm a little nervous about the tape not holding it down. I just put some blue tape along the edge to make it a more tight fit and I'm using this root a bit. So now I'm really excited to see how the neck fits with the template. It's not a very tight fit, there's a little wiggle room, but it fits. So if I put some tape on the inside of this template, it will be a tighter fit. Now I just have to do the same on the body. And to do that, I need to know how far do I go in here in the body. And that has to do with where's the bridge positioned. So I have the right scale length. This neck is a Jazzmaster style neck, so it's a 25.5 inches uh, scale length, 648 millimeters. To get the scale length, you just measure the distance from the knot until the 12th fret. And right here, it's 324 millimeters. And this distance has to be exactly the same as the distance until the bridge. And that fits very nicely. It's uh, 648. But how far do I go in to the body with the template when I'm rooting out the neck pocket? I've drilled a hole here uh, at the bridge position of the template so that I can mark it on the body, on the guitar body. I've just done that and put a little dot right there. And that's exactly where the bridge should be positioned when I look at the pictures of Novo guitars. So if I have the mark right here on the body, I can position my template and then I'll get the right placement of the bridge and I get the right scale length. Wouldn't it be wise to have the actual bridge before I do all this stuff? Well, I'm very excited because I just picked it up. nice build quality. I'm very excited to put this in. Looks like I can move it around 10 millimeters back and forth so that should make it possible for me to really dial in the intonation. So now I should be able to place the neck rooting template. I just marked out where the bridge is positioned. And if I place it right over the cross, then I have this uh, hole also. I can check that the line is going right through there and it is. So this should be the exact position of the neck rooting template. As I'm doing this, I have to tell you about the first real annoying mistake I've made. Maybe you can see right here, 
I don't know if you can see, there's a little gap. And I don't think it's a big problem, but it annoys me. Here it's very obvious. There's a big gap, lot of material missing right there. That is not good. But I think I'll try to fix it because I actually have the piece that was cut off right here. And I'll try to glue it in here. I don't think it's a problem to make the neck feel that it fits solidly in the body. It's just amateur hour. So I'll just let it sit over here and let it dry. Let's see how it works out. So coffee breaks over, let's do it. So how about the rooting depth? It's 5 8 of an inch for fender style necks, 16 millimeters, and that is right here. So I'll just start with a little bit and then work my way down. That's it, I did it. How it fits, we'll see. It's not a very tight fit. I actually tried to put some tape inside uh, the template, but that didn't really work out that good. It got teared, but it fits. And actually the problem I feared is not that big. Over here could be nicer. Well, it's the first time. It's dried for, for a few days. Now I'll try to make it look acceptable. I'm ready to root out the neck pocket now and I've added a little material here on the side and I've actually saved a little sawdust so that I can fill in gaps with glue afterwards if that's necessary. So this is how it turned out. And with the neck in place, you can see there's still some material I can sand and make it fit. It's also straight, so all in all, I have to say the repair seems to be a success. The whole philosophy on this guitar build is not to try to invent the wheel and that's why I'm so heavily inspired by the Novo guys and the Sears J model. I'm just trying to imitate all that they do. The other thing is that I'm doing three bodies at the same time to get the experience, but it occurs to me that if I'm doing the same things at the same time, I won't get that much experience out of it because further down the line, I may discover that I should have done something different earlier and then it would be too late. So that's why I've decided to finish one body up and I've uh, decided to do it with this one, the rough one. I'm finishing this guitar all the way and when that's finished, I can go back and I can do the others. And that way I think I get the most experience out of this guitar build. So what I'm going to do now is put in the bridge. I'm gonna fit the neck, I have the neck plate right here, but first I'm gonna put in the tuning machines. Mm -hmm. 